guys! So today I am going to be telling you all about my top three favorite bath combos. This is all Lush stuff because for one, I work at Lush, and for two, I pretty much wouldn't take baths if it wasn't for Lush stuff because it's stuff I trust not to irritate my skin, and from working there I know why and how it works, which helps. So I have three favorite combos. Two of them include limited edition items, but they are things you can stock up on when they come around because they are really popular items. So they pretty much will always come back as far as I can tell. They have at least during the about year and a half, I've been almost a year and a half, I've been working at Lush. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with my absolute favorite bath combo of all time, includes my favorite bath bomb of all time. And this combination is the Lord of Ms. Rule bath bomb. This guy is patchouli, black pepper, and vanilla scented. The bubble bath I use with it is the Blue Skies bubble. I only have a quarter of one left. This is the older formula, so it's taller, fatter, like it's smaller in diameter, but it's thicker, and then it's not as bright of a blue, but the blue kind of is faint enough, at least in this formula, that it doesn't interfere with the wine color of this. It just makes it more purpley. Um, and this is a patchouli scent as well. There's also some cinnamon leaf in there. Kind of spicy, slightly less sweet than this one. And then I usually add a float about half of a floating island bath melt, which I am out of right now and I need to get some more. But that is a sandalwood and vanilla scent. So the sandalwood plays well with this patchouli. The vanilla, of course, plays well with the vanilla in the Lord of Misrule. And it adds that hydration into the bathtub that I need as someone with really not so great skin. It's pretty eczema ridden. So this is my favorite bath combination of all time. Um, I do also enjoy using the Super Tramp Bubble Bar that I ordered off of the UK site. However, since that one is only available in the UK, I didn't want to include that as the actual combination just because it can be pretty hard to get your hands on that. My next favorite bath combination is one that I actually have only tried once so far, but I am obsessed already. I'm I, like, part of me wants to just go take another one in it because it was that good. And that would be using the new intergalactic bath bomb. Mine's a little beat up from rolling around loose in my drawer. It got kind of dented by some of the other ones. And this is mint and grapefruit. I pretty much just smell the mint in it. I love the way this smells. It's so refreshing. And one thing to keep in mind if you use the intergalactic is my bath water was like steaming hot and it didn't even, it felt warm and even felt hot, but not like hot, hot. And I didn't feel overheated. So you want to do a pretty warm bath with this guy. And then in that bath, I threw in a butter ball for hydration. Because I was out on the floating island, I definitely want to try it with floating island when I get it. But I do throw butter balls in a lot of my bath combinations as well. And then the blue skies bubble as well. So that's why I'm down so little of these because I use it in multiple bath combinations. It's, I think, my favorite of the year round bubble baths because I love the patchouli in there. So the butter ball is vanilla scented. So these three together, the blue of this doesn't interfere with the stunning water that this intergalactic creates. Kind of reminded me of my hair, I'm not gonna lie, because wherever it was deep, it was a dark kind of electric-y blue, and then wherever I, like my skin was, it would go tealish, so it reminded me of my highlights, and it was just really pretty and full of gold and silver glitter. It was gorgeous. I'm in love the way it looked, too. And then finally, my last bath combination is using the Twilight Bath Bomb, which is a lavender and tonka scent. This one has a blue core, mine has a dent in it, again, rolling around in my drawers for so long. And the blue core plus the purple outside, which fizzes more slowly, creates a cool night sky effect. Um, this is full of silver glitter in there as well. So the only combination I've liked, that I've mentioned so far that doesn't have glitter is the one with Lord of Misrule. And then the bubble bath I pair with my lovely Twilight Bath Bomb is the... Ooh, this doesn't fit anymore. It is the Unicorn Horn. Mine is broken. It happens. I tend to end up with a lot of broken bath stuff. I'm not very careful with it, not gonna lie. Um, I use about half of one of these, so a little more than this tip would be. And then I also usually will throw in a floating, uh, not floating island, the Dreamtime bath melt. However, that has been discontinued. It's getting, they're saying it might get reformulated into the bath oils, but I don't know for sure because I don't have any confirmation. I just know that in England, the Dreamtime is now in the bath oil formula instead of the right bath melt formula but that also has that lavender scent. So this, I put it back in the bag, 
is lavender, so it's a very lavender heavy bath. I also usually use my Twilight shower gel alongside it, which I got off of the Lush Kitchen, and then I will use like my dirty shave cream and just pile on the lavender when I do this bath. When I take my Lord of Misrule bath, I will usually use my Lord of Misrule shower cream alongside it and scrub with my Rough with the Smooth Body Butter, which is the same scent. And then with this intergalactic bath, I washed with the Dirty Spring Wash. So I like to pair my shower gels with my bath so that the scent really hangs on. So that is my top three favorite bath combinations. Uh, if you want to see any more like bath stuff related videos or other favorite bath things kind of videos, let me know. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.